healthy stomach leads to a healthy body. But our bodies are under attack every day from an enemy known as visceral fat. Learn to prevent visceral obesity, a dangerous signal to your state of health. Health Report examines the seriousness of visceral obesity and its cause. Learn TABO, a powerful aerobic exercise in fast exercise methods. Healthy food introduces the ultimate diet food in nutrition, seaweed. A basic desire for longevity and health is common among all human beings. However, obesity caused by heavy drinking, smoking, and excessive intake of fatty foods is becoming the greatest global epidemic ever. Visceral obesity, caused by an accumulation of fat in the viscera, threatens longevity and health, and brings about health complications. Health clubs and obesity clinics are evidence of the current boom in dieting. Fat is now an obstacle to overcome. But exactly how does fat come to occupy our bodies? 배꼽을 이렇게 열어 보면은 우리 몸 내부가 이렇게 생겼어요. 어, 지금 여기서 빨갛게 나타나는 부분이 어, 복부 근육이 되겠고요. 이 근육보다 바깥에 있는 이 노란 지방이 피하 지방입니다. 그리고 이 근육의 안쪽에 있으면서 이러한 여러 장기들을 둘러싸고 있는 이런 지방들을 우리가 어, 내장 지방이라고 그럽니다. 그래서 visceral obesity starts to appear as we enter middle age. This is largely due to the increase in greasy food consumption and decrease in the quantity of exercise which accompany aging. How does this pileup of visceral fat send warning signals throughout the body? Visceral fat attaches itself to the internal organs and throws off the body's balance. It creates various toxins which permeate the veins where the blood then transports the toxins throughout various parts of the body. When visceral fat permeates the blood with the toxins, the heart works harder to pump blood through the veins that are now cluttered with obstacles. As the heart strains, the veins become narrow, and eventually they will either plug up or burst. According to the life table presented by the National Statistical Office in the year 2001, cardiovascular disease was a significant cause of both male and female deaths. But what other dangers does visceral obesity hold? In serious cases of visceral obesity, life expectancy is decreased by an average of 7.1 years for women and 5.8 years for men. However, do not be relieved just because you may be young. So we must ask, what is the cause of widely spread visceral obesity throughout all age groups? Mr. Kim has experienced a strange continuous increase in his waist measurement. He visits the hospital to receive a medical examination to find out the cause. 
아무래도 벤처를 하다 보니까는 그 일단 수면 시간이 좀 불규칙하고 식사도 제때 못하고 폭식을 하고 그랬었고요. 술은 그다지 많이 하지 않는데 담배를 피우고 또 시간이 없으니까 운동도 많이 못하고 아주. 환자분은 체성분 검사기라고 하니까 지방량이 굉장히 많이 오바되어 있거든요. 그래서 복부 초음파를 하신 걸 보시면은 이분하고 비교해 보세요. 이분은 이 피하에 지방이 많이 있는 피하 지방형이고 본인은 내장 장기안에 이렇게 지방이 많이 있어서 이 내장들이 거의 다 지방이 파묻혀 있는 것입니다. 그래서 이 지방이 그럼 내장이 얼마나 있느냐 하면은 이런 지방 덩어리가 환자분 한 스물 개 정도 배 속에 지금 가지고 있는. What are some ways to prevent visceral obesity? 내장 비만은 일반 비만과 달랐어요. 운동을 만 열심히 한다고 또 다이어트를 열심히 밥을 굶는다든지 이렇게 해서 되는 것이 아닙니다. 적당한 운동과 적당한 식이요법, 특히 자기한테 알맞는 영양요법이 가장 필요한데요. 기초 대사량까지 지켜가지 않으면서 다이어트를 한다든지 이렇게 하면 무리가 되기 때문에 기초 대사량을 지켜가면서 전문의의 처방하에 자기에게 알맞는 Let's find out about some simple self-tests to check for visceral obesity. Divide your waist measurement by your hip measurement. You have visceral obesity if the ratio is greater than 1.0 for men and 0.85 for women. Also, if you have the following symptoms, you may want to suspect the possibility of visceral obesity. We took our camera to the streets of Seoul. Citizens on the streets expressed their curiosity about visceral obesity. Some 일생 동안 성인병이 생길 확률이 84배나 보통 사람보다 더 높아서 아주 위험합니다. 민몸이 일으키기를 하면은 뱃살이 빠진다는데 그것이 사실입니까? 맞기도 하고 틀리기도 합니다. 그럼 왜냐면은 우리가 잇몸 일으키기를 하는 경우에 어 배가 아주 남산처럼 볼록 나온 사람 같은 경우에는 어느 정도까지는 도움을 줄수 있지만은 이거 자체가 전부 다 뱃살에 있는 기름을 뺄 수가 없습니다. 특히 내장 지방 같은 경우에는 다 없어지는 게 아니기 때문에 꼭 유산소 운동을 병행해야지 뺄 수가 있습니다. Also, there is a misperception that smoking causes weight loss, which has resulted in people starting to smoke as a part of their diet. Smoking, however, causes the exact opposite results due to an increased secretion of condesol hormones, which help visceral fat and other fats to pile up in the body. 본인 스스로가 건강한 생활을 할수 있도록 저녁에 그 포식하지 않고 그 다음에 술이라든가 담배 같은 것들을 절제하고 저녁에 일찍 주무실 수 있도록. The fact is, carrying out moderate exercise along with leading a healthy lifestyle is more effective for overcoming visceral obesity. Obesity usually results from bad eating and unhealthy lifestyle habits. Now, if the amount of exercise that you get decreases, then there is a high risk of obesity. So the best way to avoid this is to work out on a daily basis. So today, let's find out about some exercises that are good for visceral obesity. Exercise is like a lifeline. And people with obesity are especially more dependent on exercise. Let's find out how much exercise is helping these people. An uncontrollably increasing waistline is a dangerous signal to your health. 
Considering abdominal obesity as a natural process of aging is a big mistake, especially because it is directly related to mortality rates. For example, gaining an additional 5% of your average body weight will start to decrease your lifespan. The lifespan reduction difference is far greater than the difference in body weight increase. Even after hearing these results, are you still going to neglect your midriff? Health complications caused by visceral obesity appear over the entire body. Stroke, cardiovascular disease, high blood pressure, fatty liver, diabetes, and hyperlemia are typical health complications. In the case of males, it causes prostate cancer, and for females, it causes breast cancer as well as other illnesses exclusive to females. The good news is weight loss through regular exercise among obese people will greatly decrease health complications. Losing about 5 to 10 percent of body weight results in a 30 percent decrease in visceral fat. Generally, sit-ups may come to mind as the best type of exercise to lose weight around the stomach. However, abdominal exercises and muscular exercises like sit-ups do not help decompose visceral fat. Okay then, what kind of exercise is good for visceral fat? Exercises such as walking, jogging, swimming and cycling are appropriate because they give a continuous workout that can be done over a long period of time. Strenuous exercises that result in injury must be avoided. And although it is important what kind of exercise you do, the exercising method is more important. A test was conducted to find an effective exercising method. It measured the changes in the blood veins when the intensity of exercise was increased. Test results showed that intense workouts prevented the body's use of fat by blocking the veins that lead to the muscles. Fine, then how must we exercise? I Wegwezer, 어, 몸이 형성이 돼요. 그래서 보통 준비 운동을 7분 내지 아, 저기 10분 내지 20분 정도 날씨나 컨디션에 따라서 네. 조절을 해서 하라 하는 얘기가 나와요. How much energy can be spent by exercising? The amount of energy spent when walking at the speed of 6 km per hour was measured. If you consider the fact that all exercises burn different amounts of energy, it will help you to decide what kind of exercise is best for you. There is one common thing about the necessary exercise among people who have visceral obesity. Now we have taken a look at some exercises that are good for burning off the saturated fat around the abdominal area. Well, from this point on, let me introduce you some other ways that you can burn off those fat without getting used to the workout program. There is an exercise that has been popular among American movie stars and athletes since the early 1990s. It requires continuously kicking your legs and punching your arms in motions similar to martial arts in tune to music. 
This exercise incorporated Korean Taekwondo and turned it into an exercise fit for dieting and self-defense. <laughs> 안녕하세요. 네. Don't strain yourself by raising your leg too high. This can cause injury. With some music, repeat the movement 20 to 30 times along with the music. This time, here is an upper body workout using punches. While standing, punch out directly in front of you using your shoulders. At the same time, twist your waist, hips, and legs so that your body is like a bow. This stimulates the sides of your body. When extending your arm, straighten your arm and fist as you push out from the shoulders. Exchange arms and repeat this motion many times. Next, raise your leg to the side so that a 90 degree angle is made and then bend your side so that your elbow touches your leg. Raise the leg as much as you can and bend your entire body and not just the shoulders. This stimulates the stomach and sides, which tightens your belly. Let me hear you say. Hair young, it is important for people with visceral obesity to constantly exercise on a regular basis. Do not choose intense exercises that are too tough, but apt for easy routines that require a lot of time to complete. To top it off, if it's a fun exercise, then there can be nothing better to do. The streets are brimming with delicacies, and our health has reached a level of concern due to an excessive intake of nourishment. Our palates are accustomed to increasingly sensational flavors. And in days where most adults have visceral fat obesity, what kind of food can help us escape this disease? Fast foods and snacks, a crucial factor in causing visceral obesity. The convenience factor of fast food makes it popular among many contemporaries. However, it is well known that fast food is the main cause of increasing waistlines. Then what causes people to consume fast food, although they know it leads to visceral obesity? Fast food releases reptin hormones, which make us feel satisfied. Then it alters the hormone secretion system. As a result, we face difficulty in controlling our appetite. Fast foods and snacks are addictive. So when sweet things are consumed, an excess in insulin secretion occurs, which leads to the decomposition of glucose. As a result, this causes hunger and emotional uneasiness, which creates a vicious cycle of repeatedly seeking more sweet food. Another cause of visceral obesity is alcohol. Contemporaries are consuming alcohol due to various social gatherings. Hence, they foster their visceral obesity. A bowl of white rice is 300 calories. An average cup of beer holds 95 calories. So drinking three glasses of alcohol easily equals one bowl of white rice. 술은 우리가 흔히 텅빈 칼로리라고 많이 호칭을 하는데요. 어, 
대사를 시키기 위해서 꼭 필요한 미량 원소나 비타민은 없으면서 칼로리만 들어있는 그런 식품이 되겠습니다. 이런 것들 때문에 동맥 경화가 많아지게 되고 중성지방이 많이 올라가서 고혈압, 당뇨 같은 질병을 일으키게 되죠. 또한 술을 마시게 되면 운동을 잘 하지 않게 되고 안주를 섭취하기 때문에 역시 칼로리를 더 많이 섭취하게 되는 다른 부가적인 요인이 생기게 됩니다. When drinking alcohol, people also consume appetizers. However, the body uses alcohol before it uses food to make energy. So calories from food build up in the body. These days, foods using clean and refreshing seaweeds are currently on the rise and receiving a lot of attention. Seaweed dishes satisfy even the fussiest of appetites and cause no harm relating to visceral obesity. 20 overweight Hawaiians were subject to a diet consisting of seaweeds and fish for a duration of three weeks. They lost an average of seven kilograms and their blood pressure and cholesterol levels showed substantial improvement. 해조로에는 공통적으로 인체 대사에 필수적인 칼슘, 칼륨, 철분, 요오드 등 여러 미네랄을 갖고 있는데요. 그 중에 특히 내장 비만 해소에 있어서 알긴산은 콜레스테롤 배설을 용이하게 하고 당의 흡수를 저해한다든지 칼로리는 내지 않으면서 내장 비만 해결하는 데 아주 중요한 역할을 합니다. Seaweeds are gifts from Mother Nature. They are delicious and you can eat without having to worry about waistlines or visceral fats. Take seaweed seafood soup. Prepare various types of seaweed, such as seaweed, kelp, and laver. Add the other fresh seafoods along with fresh parsley and boil the mixture with tasty spices for a rich seafood seaweed soup loaded with nutrients. Nutrients in seaweed are not affected by heat. Therefore, they can be enjoyed in many different ways. Seaweed iced vermicelli, a delicacy that can be enjoyed any time of the year. Seaweeds in a tasty spices sauce make the seaweed and seafood dish an Epicurean's delight. Grilled green onions and seaweed is a complete and hearty meal in itself. The potassium in seaweeds lowers blood pressure. Kelp is high in calcium, which helps to prevent osteoporosis and is effective in preventing other geriatric diseases. 고기보다는 나은 것 같네요. 살도 덜 찌는 것 같고 우선 나이 먹다 보니까 뱃살 늘어나는 것도 신경 써야 되고 해초류가 되도록 많이 먹게 되네요. 딴 거보다도 어, 숙취하는데도 아침에 일어나도 편안해 그리고 저 배변 효과도 좋은 것 같아요. In addition, organic vegetables eliminate harmful bacteria, ridding the intestines of toxins. Fruits, mushrooms, and other low-calorie foods control visceral obesity by regulating the intestinal absorption. However, how you eat is just as important as what you eat. So, what is the ideal diet for visceral obesity? 비만인들이 많이 먹어서 비만해지기 보다는 아침 점심 제대로 먹지 않고 저녁 때 과식을 한다든지 아니면 자기 직전에 폭식을 한다든지 이런 것들을 많이 발견하게 됩니다. 이렇게 되면 체내에서는 계속 굶주린 긴장 상황에 빠지게 되다가 음식물이 한 번에 왕창 그 폭식을 하게 되어서 섭취하게 됐을 때 고스란히 지방으로 전환하려고 하는 경향을 보입니다. 그래서 비만 해소를 위해서는 아침, 점심, 저녁 세 끼와 그 사이에 간식으로 나누어서 규칙적으로 배부르지 않게 먹는 것이 가장 중요합니다. 
With proper food and healthy eating habits, we can maintain healthy, beautiful bodies. Everyone wants a lean, healthy body. In order to achieve this, the war against visceral obesity is an inevitable, gruesome task many must overcome. But exercising daily and eating a proper diet of healthy food will free you of visceral obesity. So don't procrastinate and declare war on visceral obesity today, and you will find yourself a little healthier every day.